video and welcome to the channel. I'm just going to be home from a late night party. Uh, oh, hello. Um, just been like I was sitting listening to somebody. It was like every party was always like a, a resident Aspie, and uh, I got stuck with this guy. We're on about plane spotting the airport. So the best place to get to spot a plane. How to get there, and which one, and which roads, and we're on about fucking all sorts of stuff. And I actually was getting that fucking bored. I started stimming. If you just don't know what stimming is, it's a kind of uh, it's a coping mechanism. Coping mechanism for because this guy, this guy was talking to me for like four hours about stuff that he was, was he was interested in and there was not really any and what I've decided what, what was wrong uh, now dig it wrong I'm not being mean about I'm not being mean right this person's got this the way they are made up um, So in the conversation, it was a, there was no feedback loop. So I, I, I don't know. I might that's see like what I'm doing right now. I'm talking, and there's nobody here. Nobody. I'm on the own. There's nobody here, and I'm talking away. Uh, so that guy was doing that, except I was there. So basically, I I didn't really need to be there. You know what I mean? I didn't need to be there. Uh, so I don't know why he just didn't go in an empty room and do what he was doing. But I suppose he really needed somebody like to be there. So there's got to be some kind of feedback. So he's obviously consciously aware that somebody's there, which is me. Right? So the feedback loop was not, was not working. So I would contribute. And it was just... It was like a slight glitch in the tape cassette. Um, so I met a few Aspies today. I mean, it's easy to spot them. Uh, I don't know if any of you lot know, but oh, it's so fucking obvious. It's like spotting an Aspie. Jesus. Ugh. Probably they got attracted to me anyway because I'm one of them as well, so it's obviously there's a sort of thing that happens. Um, but they, I was also thinking today about people that say things and they're not really saying like, like questions when it's not really a question. You know, like it's um, there actually there's a question but it's cloaked it, it, it's like a, a statement of of presupposition so it, so they they're, they're actually which I think it, I believe it's called straw manning so they're, they're made out that you are, are a per, this person or this thing and the question is designed to deliver that message to you so I had that that mad woman that's stalking me um, so I'm, I'm what, what they call I'm grey rocking her what they call grey rocking so that so that's just so if you're really angry at somebody or really pissed off at them don't argue with them and don't reason with them and don't engage with them grey rock them so I grey rocked her and then later on she said hey Lucinda because she's been sort of um, denying my my existence because it doesn't suit her now but for whatever reason right so I, so, she, so I fell for that I said yeah what is it when I should have grey rocked her she said uh, what was she, she said uh, they all call you Lucinda they all, all call you Lucinda round about here 
So okay, the only she was really saying was, well, I don't give a fuck what she was saying. And I says, and then she goes, you've got a really weird last name, haven't you? A really funny last, Scottish last name, haven't you? What is it again? And I said, I don't know, I can't remember. That's quite a cool sky, that, isn't it? I said, I can't remember. I just walked off and left her. So, I gave her a little bit away there, so I, I spoke to her briefly. But there's no good coming to that. So that woman is employing... You know, at the end of the day, you know, I can't... I'm not... In, it's not my place. I, I can't tell somebody what to do. Or, you know, it's inappropriate what she's doing. Well, it's inappropriate in terms of the law, because it's actually illegal what she's doing. It's actually a hate crime. So I think she's been doing. But because I don't, go, I would never go down that route, my solution is to ignore her. So she's got narcissistic personality disorder. So you just be strong. Be strong and ignore them. You know? And, and because she knows that I'm ignoring her, that's why she keeps trying, because she's been rejected. I mean, that's it's a, a big, that's not a good thing for a narcissist to be rejected like that. And, you know, it's, it's a bit of a tough deal for them, you know. And so there's not going to be any accountability going on there. And so, for the most part, when I go to Falkirk Stadium, I got on fucking mo loads of people there. It's a fantastic environment, honestly. It's better than going to the pub, you know? It's, it's fun, it's what a laugh it is. Some great people. And, you know, I'm part of that. And it's not, you know, it's just, if you just be a decent person, you can be part of that. But if you're gonna be a rat and a dirty bastard, then you can't be part of that. So that's, that's part of a community, people who accept you for who you are and they're happy with that and that's what that is and that's what I'm experiencing at Falkirk Stadium and it's a, it's, it's a great experience and but nobody has to accept you but they do if they, if they want to they will and if they don't they won't so the ones that won't, you avoid them. But I, there's hardly anyone I really need to avoid there. There's most of them do. I haven't got a problem with anyone there. Apart from that woman, right? Who's an interloper from my past. So I don't know if the universe... I think the universe has sent her, yeah. So the universe has sent her to test me. To see if I can... If I can handle it. Can I take it? And the question is, yes, I can. Because the... They want to cut you down. They don't want you to survive. Why should you survive when, they, when they're still stuck in their own misery? And their plan doesn't work. And their modus operandi is faulty. They, why should they admit? Why should they accept responsibility when you're there? You know? And that's really what, where we're, we're at with this. You know? Um, so... So we were stealing with people. Uh, I'm not the best person to deal with people. I'm, a, I'm an introvert and I'm also, I have social problems as well. Uh, I'm not particularly good. And I, I have trouble dealing with stuff. It, it, it's not very easy for me, but I know the only person, all sorts of people with all sorts of problems. Um, but that party was good, yeah. Lots of food. Uh, so we enjoyed this video. And so what I what I'm trying not to take on board is what that woman said to me, it's not me, it's her. So you know she's like Constantly, so everything she says is about exposing my past. You know, my past is behind me, and it's, I don't really want to go there. 
Well, I do, but only if it's my sort of uh, decision, you know, to go there. So it's, it's that thing about asking for advice. Don't give people advice and don't, you, you can't, don't bring up somebody's past unless they want to talk about it. And if, only if you're doing it from a good place. She's not doing it from a good place. She's doing it from a, from a narcissistic standpoint. And it's because she can't cope with herself. But she doesn't care. Because that thing about, do they know? Do narcissists know? Oh, it's irrelevant. They don't care anyway. They're the narcissists. They don't fucking care. So that's just how it goes. So I wonder if it's Japanese not... Well, I think it's Japanese not weed. Up here. Uh, they've been working here. And they had Harris fencing up. And it looks like... So there's an invasive species here. Up here on the right. All the fencing's away. Looks like it's away, uh, and the, the fence in there. And I think they were removing the knotweed. Right. So thanks for watching this video. Definitely going this time. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.